Hey guys, if anybody is joining in, hey, I said I got eight people on here. Hey y'all, I know it's been a minute since I've been on here, especially on live. So I do apologize in advance. I hope I'm not cutting in on anyone else's time. Hey, Brandy. Hope I'm not cutting in on anyone else's time. Hey, Rhonda. Um, but I just felt the urge to come on because I missed you guys. Hey, Diamond. Hey, jo- hey, Joy. Oh my gosh! So I wanted to come on here do a little unboxing and to share some funny stories while I'm unboxing. I feel a little bit rusty. Um. Oh, you know Joy Parker? Yes, I know Joy too, Pranity. What am I dropping? P, you beat me. <laughs> so, I want to do a, um, two unboxings. Um, but first, let me talk about this coffin paper subscription box. So, I used to get a sub box all the time. But then I started um, just printing my own stuff. But she had this one pad that was going to be a part of the subscription box. And it's always like one thing that makes me want to get something. But anyway, so I was like, oh, I want to get it. I want to get it. But then I thought I was too late getting it. So I canceled the subscription. So I thought I wasn't going to get the box. But I went to my PO box today and I was like, oh, snap. Um, Hey, 50th Planning. Hey, Jasmine. Thanks for joining. Like I said, this is very impromptu. I don't know the last time I've done a live. Um, and it's funny because I was telling um my sis, um, Lisa, um, Alicia from Planning and Praying that I miss doing my live. So um, I just wanted to jump on and share. If you're on here, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Y'all know the drill. Um, and I'm going to try not to keep y'all long because, like I said, I don't know if anybody else is going live. And y'all know me. I don't like to step on nobody's toes. But I wanted to share because it was in my spirit. So um, I think I'm going to do the cloth and paper first. Um, so this is her, it was her October sub box. And I'm so excited because um, Ashley had posted in her story. She was like, if y'all didn't get this box, don't be mad when y'all be seeing the story. So I've been trying to avoid everybody's stories because I didn't want to be sad. So Let's go ahead and dig right into this. Now, I'm not sure if I ordered the half letter or the mini um, because I am doing a half letter and mini disc bound for 2021. Um, but she has the card that tells you what's inside. This is what I wanted. And it's the undated monthly dust pad. And let me put my phone on. Do not disturb. Got to do that. Okay, we're on. Um, yeah, so y'all, I miss y'all. I think I'm gonna start going back live. I just need to pick a day and be consistent with it. So anyway, so you get a reading log, you get the December 2021 style, which is gonna map out your goals, um, new doors dashboard, balance dashboard, and a December monthly cover board. Um, You get a declutter, digital declutter dashboard. Oh, that's um, some flags, some sticky notes, and journal card. And I also get the, um, what do I get? I also get the pen scription anytime I do do her sub boxes because I am a pen lover. You did too? Yes, girl. Like, I have found my planner piece. Disbound is for me. I've tried string. I've tried rings. Um, I just love disbound because just the simplicity behind it all is just amazing. So anyway, now that I got this, I might got to sell for the other one. There's a pen gym. A pen. Yeah, Joy, there's a pen program. So you can either do the pen and sub box or you can do just do the pen um, now, I'm not an affiliate, but if y'all want discounts, Pranity of Pranity Plan, she's on here. She does have a link. Um, Pranity, if you can put your link or your code in here. Um, so when you shop, you can use her code. I think it's like 10% off. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, you can't mess with us. Like, I've gotten a lot better because people used to call me like the master in, uh, 
uh, I forgot what they called it. Uh, Diamond, you on here? What y'all used to call call me? Anyway, every time I used to post stuff, people was like, "It's my fault they bought it." Um, but anyway, so then you get the um, this is the pen inspiration board, and you can do your pen test on the back of this card. So anytime you get her pens, um, the subscription, she give you the you know card so you can do a pen test. But it's so pretty how she has this on here. enabler. Yes, thanks, sis. They used to call me the enabler. Um, so everything always comes pretty in package. I never rip anything open. I just take it out. Let me move this box. And if you heard that I am doing laundry, so. Ooh, this is nice. I don't know what size I got, y'all, but we're about to find out. Okay, it looks like I did the half letter. I'm going to move these pins out the way so Joy won't get all excited. Get it, Joy. Get the one with it. Yeah, it's it's. I think it's so worth to get the pin and the actual box subscription. So this is something new. Let me see what this is. The more you love your decisions, the less you have to convince other people to love to love them. I love this quote. Oh my gosh, this is like frame worthy. Um, you said you're already excited, Joy. I know that's right. <laughs> All right, so this is what is in the sub box for this month. Um, she did, and this is a freebie, which is super cute. Let's go ahead and open this. And I love the fact that she's doing these clear cards, but it makes me sad, too, because once the year's over, you can't use it anymore. <laughs> um, so this is the December little clear pocket card. You can put it in your pocket, your wallet, whatever. Um, then you have, and it's got the October 20th. So, you know, it's the October, um, sub box. It says, may your streets be paved with gold. And this could be a journaling card. Then you have another one that says, make it simple, but significant. And then you have one of these pocket cards that you can use. I know a lot of us, when we are trying air quotes to do no spins, we use this to track no spins. Uh, you can, whatever you want to track for that you know, month, and then you can put your three top priorities. I really like this card. So the next thing, these are super cute. I love this color. I'm so kind of, I'm, I'm glad that I got it. So these are the transparent sticky notes. This is circle and this is square, and I absolutely love my squares. Um, I have plenty. Um, these are a couple that I have. Um, I don't know if she still has them in the shop, but this is the new in the cotton. I have more. I just don't know where they are right now. Um, so these are those. Let me see. I have to add the pin. Yes, Jasmine, you have to add the pin. It's so worth it. I mean, if you are a pin person, you got to do the pin. Um, so this is the December dashboard. And now, I'm, like I said, um, right now I am currently in a half letter. Um, and this is my Notique cover. This is a half letter agenda size that I'm currently using. And since I'm using this on a month to month basis, I'll definitely be using this stuff that I got for this kit for December. Hey, Miss Elaine. <laughs> and if you're interested in getting a no teat cover, I do have an affiliate link. If you click, is a link. It should be a link in my, yeah, it's a link in my description box for no teak, and you can get 10% off if you use my code C H E K. 10. But anyway, so this is a vellum dashboard. And if you're not familiar with the dashboard, these are nice little decorative pieces to add as a layering technique. Um, as you become more of a season, air quote, <laughs> a season um, planner, babe, you'll start to, you know, dive into dashboards and vellum and all of that good stuff. And vellum, vellum is my favorite. I need to actually order some more vellum paper. Um, but this one, it just says December 2020. Amma just sit and wait for inspiration. The rest of us just get up and work and go to it. Stephen King. So this is really nice. Uh, my new teak, diamond, yeah, diamond, yes. Diamond, definitely. My screen keeps clocking. Am I the, are y'all seeing me okay? Let me know before I move on. I know the lighting might be a little bit off because I didn't move my... Y'all can see me? 
Yes, you can see. Okay, so Miss Elena, it might just be um, on your end. Uh, trying to get my light a little closer. I feel like the lighting is a little off, though. All right, so this is the door um, dashboard that she was talking about. And it says, old ways won't open new doors. Always won't open new doors. Always won't open new doors. This is definitely a quote that I think I'm going to put on my window. Um, not my window, my mirror, because a lot of times we get so stuck. And first of all, if y'all are new here, especially if it's been a while, anytime I talk, God always give me a message. That's just how I flow. I am a woman of God. I don't hide it. Mostly everybody that follow me know that. So I'm just going to put that out there just in case you're new to my channel. <laughs> um, so I like this quote because a lot of times we think that if we continue to do what we used to do, we're going to always get a seat at the table or we can always walk through and get these new blessings. But you got to leave old ways. It's even in the Bible. <laughs> you know, old things pass away. Got to get that new, new. Okay. Ooh, I like this. So digital declutter. Um, so this will tell you what to do daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, and yearly. And this is perfect to transfer. Um, if you're anything like uh, some planner babes, things like this you want to restore because this is vellum. You can always run it through the laminator and repunch it. That way you won't damage the um, the paper. And I'm not taking all, any of this stuff out because I'm not going to use this right now. Um, but it says daily set time for social media, disable notification, takes breaks, weekly Backup files, close open tabs, restart devices. I like that because I don't really reset my devices that much. And when she says digital, this means like your cell phones, your iPads, your MacBooks, your laptops. These are things that you can do digitally to help declutter. And what this quote says, habits to put in place to give you online peace of mind. And y'all, I need this because I've been talking to my girlfriend saying like, you know, November, I am giving myself a whole unplug session. So anyway, um, monthly empty trash, review unused apps, clear downloads, archive emails, quarterly sort and delete photos, delete old conversation, unsubscribe and unfollow. Y'all better not unsubscribe and unfollow me. Okay. You hear me? <laughs> Yearly delete unused accounts, change passwords and review permissions. I like this. I might even get a smaller one to put in my mini happy planner. Are you laughing at me, Joy? <laughs> um, ooh, okay. Okay, Ashley. So this is a clear dashboard with the little, I call these like abstract things, but this is cute. Ooh, let me, I got to open this just to see how clear it is. This is nice. Sorry for the noise. This is like one of my pet peeves, like here in the poly bags. Make that noise. Oh, this is nice. So it has like a little frost on it. And then on the other side, it's kind of clear. But of course, this is the right way to do this. But it feels amazing. Ooh, I can't wait to use this. I love a good dashboard. And this is good again for layering. Uh, prime example. So when I say layering, you can like put this on top of that. Um, and then you can maybe put like a solid piece of decorative paper behind it to give it like a nice little illustration or effect <laughs> uh pranity pranity is the official cloth and paper affiliate on here so pranity i need you to answer these questions i'm putting you to work you're on here i'm putting you to work um and i might do another unboxing for you all as well um <laughs> okay, so let's go over these last two. So this insert is the, oh, I like this. Um, So and this is good to get you set up for 2021. It's good to kind of like pregame before you enter into any new month, new year, new quarter, um, even new week. Um, So this is your goals. Um, So you can put your whole December to-do list, important dates, your bills, and I'm going to go ahead and open this because I'm not sure what's all inside. 
All right. Oh, okay. So this is like a monthly. I like that. So this is her monthly view. And this is dated, of course, because it's December. And you get your previous and your upcoming month at the top. Oh. Mm. Y'all, I don't know. I might got to order this for my mini for 2021. Hopefully she has an undated because I'm a big undated girl. Um, so yeah, so then you have your weekly, week on two pages. And this has um, your calendar here. It has your top three priorities and this is just what it will look every week. So whether you are a uh, task person, it has lines so you can put down like your task for each day. If you are decorative, you can add some stickers and still have plenty of space to, um, you know, put that on there. And, you know, while I'm talking about stickers, I'm dropping stuff, you know, y'all getting exclusive. If y'all haven't watched my lives, y'all know y'all always get exclusive. So, like, you know, you got Wednesday. You can use, like, one of your little wine down Wednesdays. This is just a test sample, sample so it won't look like this. So if you drink white wine or red wine, you could just kind of like either use the one little sticker, put it on Wine Down Wednesday, or you can just put the little, you know, icon right there. Look, you still have plenty of space. So hopefully these will be going in the shop soon. I'm just trying to figure some things out. Um, if you don't do Wine Down Wednesdays and you just wind down, you just got plain wind down stickers. Thanks, Pretty. I love you. I need to call you too because we were supposed to have a lunch date today and I realized that. So we got to get back to that. Um, so anyway, so yeah, so this is the week on two pages and you get all the way through. And this is just letting you know this half letter junk paper. On the back, you have notes so you can jot down notes for that month. <laughs> I'm going to need those. I know you are. <laughs> so the next one is a reading log. And I'm not going to lie. I'm not a book reader. Only thing that I really read uh, um, is the Bible in my Bible app. So maybe this will go towards something else. Um, so you have your reading log and you can put the title, the author, the author, the date. And you got two rows on here. Uh, and these little dots up here, I do believe it's for you to be able to, you know, what is this? Two, four, it's five. So you can like rate it one out of five. Um, so you get plenty of this. So you could probably even use this for maybe like your devotionals or your, you know, weekly scripture writing and reading plans. If you're doing, um, you know, the Mary Martha scripture writing reading plan, you could put like, uh, December's reading plan, Mary Martha plans. Um, you could put your date and whether or not you finished, the, you can write the scripture and whether or not you finished it, you can find some really creative ways to use this. Let's see with the back. Yeah, so all the pages are the same. So I might play around with this and see if I can use this for December scripture writing and reading plan. I mean, it is not dated, so it's you can pretty much use it whenever you want to. Um. Oh, thanks, Jasmine. Y'all are just giving me, like, right now, y'all are giving me affirmation because I've been kind of struggling, you know, with the, the, not struggling with the shop, but just trying to figure out so I'm going to continue to be on Shopify or go back to Etsy. It's just been a whole thing. So anyway, so this is the piece de la resistance. This is what I wanted. I wanted it so bad. I had told Pran, I said, Pran, I didn't get it. She's like, well, I can give you my, my pay. I was like, no, no, you get it. You know, my friends be spoiling me. I'm telling you, like, I love my friends. So again, with the rapping noise that I hate. But I wasn't expecting to unpack. Okay, so this is, this could be used a lot of different ways. Let me show you. Hold, please. Oh. I'm still here. I'm just trying to get something out. Okay, so you can use it as a desk pad. Um, so, like, if you have enough space for your, de your desk, you can plan out your month here. Um, you can... You know, rip it off, and it's undated, which I love. You can rip it off and, ooh, ooh shake it a table. You can rip it off and post it up somewhere. Um, say, uh, 
you want your husband or your wife or your children to have a specific schedule, you can write it here and put this in their room. You can do so much to it. If you don't want to carry it in that, let me show you what you can fit it in. This beautiful tech cover that's from Notique. Um, I believe this is 15 inches. I'm not sure. But I use this when I'm taking my laptop with me. I stick my laptop inside. And then on the back, I have this back pocket. So I can just slide it back here so I can have this on the go along with my laptop. Or if you don't have a laptop, you can put your iPad in here and something else. Um, but as you can see, this is from Notique as well. Um, and I'm glad I pulled this out because it's a transition almost into my next unboxing. All right. So now these are the pins that you get. And I always love the packaging that she put her pins in because I always use it for something else <laughs> other than what she sent it for. So she always gives you this nice little pin pouch that you can use. And I legit use mine for stickers. On the go stickers I put in there. I'm just trying to see if I had a little one over here now. No. But typically I use them for stickers. But these are the pins, and I'm going to see if I can zoom in so y'all can see a little pin test going on. So don't judge my handwriting. That's why I make script stickers. I got your scripts on speed dial, re-up. <laughs> so this pin right here. It's in Chinese writing, so I cannot tell you who it is or who it's by. But look how it looks like it's, uh, <laughs> I know I'm close. You see that? It looks like an IV, like, <laughs> ooh, and I just dotted it all myself. So this looks like it's like a hot pink, so I'm going to write hot pink. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, y'all, this drawer right bum. Yes, we're loving this. Pranity, this your color right here. I don't know if it's five every month because, like I said, it's been a minute since I got them. Then it's the brown. Ooh, Boogie Down Productions. I don't know why I said that. So we're going to write brown. So this is like, it feels the way it's writing, almost like a gel type of um, pen. Oh my gosh, y'all. This writes amazing. I don't know what I'm writing. Brown skinned it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The next one is a retractable. And this is a 0.5. I was trying to see. Yeah, these are both 0.5s. I just don't know if they're gel or not. Hey, Chris, thank you. So anytime you get pins that have these on here, be very careful, especially on the retractable kind. Let me zoom back out for a second. Because one time I had a retractable pin, and this wax is just to keep it from possibly exploding or you know leaking or what have you. I kept pulling it. And I pulled the piece off. So I just kind of put my finger here and just, you know, kind of try to chip it off. It's wax, so it's not going to, you know, hurt. You just don't want to pull the retractable part off because you will damage the pen. Trust me, I know. So this is also a 0.5. And nine times out of ten, it's a gel pen because Ashley only typically offers gel pens. So we're going to put... Pin. This writes amazing as well. Love it. Hmm, let's see. This is a point five as well. Oh, and this is similar to these two with the looking like a hypodermic needle kind of situation. Zoom back in a little bit. And we're just gonna write green. Oh, and it does write green. Hey. These are great writing pens for Christmas cards or any kind of cards. I like a pen 
because this is like a Christmas card type of paper. So if I can get a pen that writes well on like cardstock paper, that's the type of pens that I use. So all of these pens, except for this one, looks like hypodermic needles. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying hypodermic needles. Uh, let's see. This is a 0.5 as well. This pen does have a name, Michao. So this is probably black, yes. Oh, okay. This pen makes me feel executive. You ever write with a pen and it has like a certain sound? This pen has a certain sound to it. Love it. So these were all of the pens that came along with the pen spration subscriptions. So, and like I said, I had got the pen and the box subscription. And they are both for four. I want to say the subscriptions with the pen and the box is like $50. And so you see how everything fits in there nice and neat. You like the green, Joy? Yes. All right. So let's bring my tech back. So I am an entrepreneur, a businesswoman. So I like to be able to have nice professional things when I go out on business. And I fell in love with this mauve color tech. And when she launched her 2021, 20, um, it's too late for the October box, but I think you still have time for the November box. If Prandity is still on here or either you can probably reach out to Prandity and she can let you know 100%. Um, but yeah, so I like to get things that are presentable when I go out on business. So when Notique launched her 2021 planner release and she had this in a planner cover you know your girl had to get it so let's go ahead and open it now i haven't looked at it yet and if anybody has ever seen me do a unboxing where i've never seen the contents brace yourself because i don't know how i'm gonna act and notique her packaging is immaculate her style is impeccable and Oh, that's all I can say. <laughs> so let's go ahead and open this up. And look, I did not plan this, but look at my fingernail. Can you see it? It looks like the Notique design. Isn't that crazy? Look, I swear I did not plan this. When I left from the nail shop today, I was like, oh, this looks like the Notique design. And then I was like, oh, I think my delivery came. So anyway, so she always gives you a bunch of goodies when you order from her. And I actually keep these envelopes. Um, I, I'm a hoarder, but I hoarder with purpose. I'm a hoarder with purpose. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, and I keep them because you can just kind of like, you know, use and put stuff in here that you need to take on the go. Um, so she always addresses you as lady. I love that. And then I even love it even more because she spelled my name correctly capital c h e capital k e s h a so when you give me both of my capitals and leave out the eyes because you can still see my name and people still want to give me an eye but anyway it says thank you so much again enjoy the additional cup what additional what wait a minute wait a minute what hold on okay and lay may she was playing tell her don't play with your no teeth Okay, wait a minute. She said additional. I don't know what she mean by that. So anyway, so she gives you the notepad. Um, typically, she um, gives everyone like a, a notepad or something like this. And I like to watch that makeup on there. This is great for on the go. Um, she gives you the card with the mission statement. And it also has her logo. And these are great to use as dashboards in your smaller um, cover. Goosebumps. I know, right? Like, I'm trying to figure out what she's talking about. Um, and then this is like a dot grid card that you can put in your planners or you can just use it again. Um, you have the space on the side to punch it. If you want to punch it and use it as a dashboard, whatever you want to do to with it. Okay. Whew. My heart is palpitated. I don't know what she mean by extra. It might be, um, I don't know. Anyway. So again, I never rip her packaging because her packaging is beautiful as well. I don't know what she meant by that. We about to find out. Oh my gosh, look at the cover. 
I love the little dust bag. It's always so nice. I keep all of my dust bags. All right. Y'all look at this. Can somebody look at this? Look at this. I don't know what she meant by it, but I don't see anything extra. But it's all good because look at this. Hey, Rose. Can somebody look at this? Now, look. Now, if y'all saw me coming up in a building with this, this, this duo right here, be like, oh, she about her business. Yes, I'm about my business. Y'all see me coming through. Y'all be like, oh, yes, I got to do business with her. And look at this. This won't even plan. Bam. Got my Villa Beautiful pin to match it. This won't plan at all. At all. Bay Bay. Bay Bay. Woo child. This is gorgeous. This, oh, I got to do, I got to do a, a photo op for my IG. Look at, I did not plan this, y'all. I swear, I had my pins sitting up here that I had just got a while, you know, a couple of days or a week ago. Y'all know that's, look, go ahead and screenshot it. Screen, like, hold on, let me, um, and look, my nails almost match. Look at this, y'all, I did not plan this. Look at this. I'm going to have to do a photo session, something. Let me see. Y'all screenshot. Y'all screenshot. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Okay, bring it back. All right, all right. Okay. So, oh, my gosh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So, this is, again, the half-letter agenda cover. Um, I can actually give you a better description because I actually got two. So I guess that's what she meant, my extra cover. I was getting excited because I'm like, she going to send me some extra. So this is my mini HP that I've been using. If y'all see my flip through video, y'all seen the setup I've had since added a couple of things. Um, I won't be using her until 2021. I cannot wait. So yeah, so this is my on the go. This goes with me everywhere. Um, but yeah, so anyway... Oh, y'all, I'm going to have to do gold discs for her. Or I might do black on her as well. Y'all, should I do black or gold discs? Because, look, hold on. I'm going to get back to her, but I'm just thinking about how I'm going to set her up. So this one, I have the black disc because I just thought the, you know, it just reminded me of my husband, you know, the chocolate and dark skin, you know. You know, it's just. And then with this whole, this, I yeah. Honey, do go this. Okay, I like your name, girl. Even I don't drink Hennessy. I gotta make dinner. All right, thanks, Joy, for joining. I'm gonna keep it up. So if you wanna catch the end, um, you know, because I don't think I'm gonna be on here much longer. You know, you can jump right back on in. Y'all say the gold this. Okay, I hope my gold this come here soon because. I plan on setting this up so I can do a flip through again. I love to give y'all guys ideas of how to set up your 20, just your planners in general. So if you saw my um, flip through of my half letter, if not, just go through my videos. Um, I showed you everything and tried to kind of explain it. I know it was a long video, but I think it's important because as old school planners, sometimes we need to be re-inspired. Sometimes we need to see different ways because like that um, cloth and paper dashboard said, you know, old things got to go. Sometimes you can't keep doing the old stuff. And if you're new, this is letting you know that there's other options other than just buying a commercial planner. What do I mean by commercial planner? Just something that's already been put together, already has a layout that you want. Um, but if you know that you can, you know, buy your own disc, the color that you want to buy your own covers at the color that you want to buy printables or print printables based on how your planner style functions. I know that I'm doing what I was called here to do. You know, planning is fun for me. Um, I never wanted to get to the point where it gets old and tiring. And sometimes I need some inspiration. So I watch a lot of people's channels. But um, so happy with my custom. Yeah, custom planners. Like I tell everybody, even like I'm a hairstylist, like I tell my clients, there's no 
one size fit all product. You know, you get natural clients that like to wear their natural curl pattern versus being natural, you know, with relaxed hair. And, you know, your curls may require this versus this person's curls or because they're relaxed, they may require this kind of conditioner, but this relaxed client might require a different kind of conditioner. So anyway, that's why I like sharing my style, my suggestions to kind of help you along. Um, Oh, you making me, girl, I'm telling you, you got to get a half letter planner. You have to. And yes, the covers are investment because one, the quality is amazing. And two, if you do not like the killing of animals, these are vegan leather. So, and they feel amazing. And just to also show you why I'm here, um, the only the only reason why this is poking out is because I wanted to protect this cover, but typically this doesn't go right there. Um, but yeah, so this is my half letter, and these are 1.5 discs. So you can use 1.5 size discs and have a lot of space. And let me show you. Brace for the noise. See, it fits perfect. I just didn't want to scratch up this cover with this. But your stuff is not poking out. It fits perfect. So you can make your planner pretty chunky um, if you're like me. I like a chunky planner. Um, so and just to kind of show you how it fits, you know, because I'm all about demos, y'all. Well, let's let's see how it's going to look. I'm trying to get makeup on. I keep touching my face. Does Notique have those planner covers? Yes, she has them now. So if you look in my description box, um, where you go to the bottom, it says affiliate links. If you click on that and use my code, you get 10% off. And I'm always telling people, if I'm going to enable you, I'm going to try to find you some discounts at the same time. So you said my reaction, I know. That's why I say like doing like, I normally like to prep myself before I do unboxing so I won't be so like geeky yes I was doing personal rings I love my personal rings but I just couldn't get with the rings and then trying to punch everything it's just so much easier with disbound disbound to me is just like yes yes use the code girl it's worth it and look put your ear real close I know some of us be balling on the budget. I ain't no shame in my game. And she got after pay. So if you don't want to spend all the coins up front, you got after pay. Don't tell nobody I told y'all. That's just a little secret for y'all because y'all my people. Okay? Um, I'm brand new to the... Yes, this is the best. Now, I will say, these solid discs can be hard to find. Um... But you can either go on AliExpress if you want to cut your cost, but the waiting time is long because I'm still waiting for my disc that I ordered back in September, but it's okay. Um, or some of these shops, Notique, she does sell discs as well. I'm not quite sure what size. Um, this planner is mauve. The color is mauve. Um, so, yeah, so... Uh, what I was going to say. Yeah, the planner cover, this color is mauve. Oh, and by the way, she does always give you care instructions to, you know, tell you how to maintain and take care of your planners as well. Um, does that mean I can get two? Yeah, you can get two covers. You get two covers and use app to pay and still use the code. So use CHEK10, get your 10%, and then hit app to pay so you can make your payments. I think the way Afterpay does it, they break it down like four payments. So just, you know, and they'll normally tell you what your payment will be with Afterpay when you're doing it. So you order this. She says my phone. <laughs> Isn't this gorgeous? I, I should have laminated it, but I was so scared that I wasn't going to punch it right. But I might still laminate it. And, um. 
I actually got a couple of her covers. I mean, her dashboards in my planner. I really like this one with the gold foiling. You see that? Let me see. And then this one right here. Y'all know I'm a plant lady, so they definitely kind of like spoke to my soul. Now, this is a test for me because, you know, just like with anything, um, like prime example, when you buy jeans, blue jeans, the lighter the jean, the more true to the fit they are. But when you start getting the darker denim and the black, it always seems like they get smaller. So uh, I'm not sure if that's the same way. I'm trying to like eyeball this to see. Um, cause like, I don't really mind having hang time. It just lets me know that I'm, I got a healthy planner. Um, so yeah. So my dashboards are hanging out a little, but again, certain stuff don't bother me. And the reason being is because if you look the, the way she makes her, her strap, it doesn't push it in. A lot of times when you get covers and your dividers poke out, the um, strap is so tight that it smushes them, but that doesn't happen with this, and I like that. And another thing that I like with the Notique planners is that her pin loop is connected to the snap. That way you have more room, because a lot of times you get them here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put this right here, just show you how cute that is. Look at that. Uh-oh. So yeah, so you see it doesn't smush my tabs at all, even with the pin in there. Um, and like I said, I like that. And this plastic is just there to protect the the gold um, logo. That's her logo. And I really, that's another thing that I like. Because her first release, they all had the Q, which is cute. But I like this because it's less of... Like, anything that's... I'm not a big logo girl. Like, it's a few things that I will rock that has logos. But, you know, I'm not. But you can kind of tell. This one is a little bit wider than that one. Um, but, again, I still love them the same. I can't wait to get this set up. I really want to understand the disc system. Do you have any videos? Um, Do you have any videos up on disc? and how to get set up. I do have a lot of, uh, if you go, I should have, I have playlists and I put all of my videos under playlists. So if you go to, I think it's Disbound, let me see. Um, Let me go out, I might, this might hang up. Not hang up, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Playlists. I got a lot of playlists, y'all, but I do that so you all can find stuff easier. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So if you go to my half letter planner playlist, I have eight videos on that. I even have showing how I set up my 2021 planners. Um, my mini planners videos so any of the videos that say half letter mini and you can even go as far back as um happy planner i think i got happy planner videos on here yeah happy planner um it shows some videos so um if you go through my playlist you'll know that they're disc bound because you'll see the disc right there um uh, let's see Let me see. I don't want to lose y'all in the track. The mauve A5 rings are sold. Oh, yeah. Um, She does also have other styles of this as well. You can get the ones without the straps, which I thought about getting um, because it's pretty heavy, so you don't have to worry about it staying open. I really thought about getting that one, but I just feel secure with the snap. Um, but I'm pretty sure because when she dropped this release, people was on it. And um, let me put my thing on the charger because I don't want to die on you guys. Hold, please.
All right, I'm back. I should be good for a minute. All right, so yeah, so she got yeah, she got. Eight, let, let me tell you. Let me see if I can show you. Let me let me see if I can pull it up. Since y'all asking me a bunch of questions about it, let me see if I can pull it up. So she has ring bound, disc bound. She has A5 pocket, um, slim disc bound. Whatever you want, she got. All right, let me see if I can show y'all. Okay. All right, so these are all the different planners that she have. So she has them in the croc style. She has them in the quilted. And these are the ones without the straps. Then these are the pocket, which are so cute. Like, I'm this close to getting one. Let me see. And it has a little chain on there, so you can carry it like it's a chain purse. Uh-oh. And then she gives you a disclaimer to let you know that some of the stuff may take a little while longer. Um, but look, this is what the croc looks like. And with the black, I like too because her logo is... You laughing at me, Chris? It has the logo on there. Now, how do I get out of here? Where's the X? Yeah, I don't know how to get out of this. I'll just log out of it all together. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, so um, this one, her pocket size. Don't be talking about I'm enabling nobody, Shaz. Her pocket size, you can get the one that holds six rings or five discs. So the pocket, um, hey, Sharia. So the pocket you can get in the disc bound or you can get in the ring bound. Uh, let's see. And these are the... Um, chiffon style so this is like the color that I got for my mini but this is the ring bound and her ring ones I do believe they all come in gold this one is rose gold um, so just depending on your preference um, these are the ones that I have here these are the, also the um, Martrice style uh, and let me see yeah, this is what the disc bound looks like. It's got the gold disc to it. Very pretty hardware. And if you don't, um, um, it's actually mauve, so it's the same color that I have here. So it's not really purple; it's more of a mauvey color. Um, and also, if you, you know. Don't know what kind of planner she sells planners, um, inserts as well. She sells scarves and decor, she has it all like one stop shop. Um, let me see if she has the the disc in here. Let's see. So, these are like all the inserts that you can get to put for your planners. Let's go to new. And so here's the slim ones. So if you have like the slim happy planner, and I'm sorry if I'm not seeing your comments because uh, I was using my iPad to look at your comments. Um, but these are the slim. So any you guys that like those slim um, happy planner or disbound planners, you can use these. And you can always put your Hobonichis in there as well. Um, I showed you the pockets. Yes, the skinny covers. I think Diamond has a skinny cover. She has trackers. She has the um, the frosted covers that you can use. Here's the disc. So she does have the disc in gold. And she has them in rose gold. So if you are looking for discs, she does have those two colors. Um, and... She has the one inch and the 1.2. So the 1.2 is just a little bit smaller than the point the 1.5 that I have, um, in which those will probably be a more perfect fit. But I will tell you, the 1.5 also fits in the mini. And I'm going to show you 
and I still got mad space in this mini. This mini is going to be chunky by the time 2021 <laughs> is ready. And if you can't find this, you can still like use like the Happy Planner disc. Like if you don't mind the hearts and you just want to get some discs so you can get everything started, you can still go to Michael's, Joann's, or any of those places and find you some discs um, if you can't find them on the shop pages. Or if you can't get them off of AliExpress. Um, let's see. I really love. Um, she has a really nice. Little decor. Look how cute those are. So these are like little cards. So yeah. So just you know. Check her out. Like if you. If you. Like scarves, she has these nice little scarves here. She has everything. So this is more than just a stationery. It's a whole movement. And I know a lot of times we'll like look at the price on stuff and be like, ah. but I'm the type of person, I'm going to pay for quality. And on top of that, if I'm going to spend my money on a planner cover, I want it to last. And this is nice. Now, I do have one more planner cover that's, um, have I froze? No. I do have one more planner cover that is coming in, because, you know, you always have a backup, because, you know, but that's from cloth and paper, so once I get that one, I'll show you that as well. Um, yes, in this paper clip, where is it at? This is one of the paper clips that came from her shop. I really love that. Super cute. Super cute. And I got hair all in here. Let's see what this says. What this says. Just trying to catch up. I said hey to my girl Sharia. You said I enabled you, Hennessy. <laughs> Wait. Uh, all right. Mom. I got. Oh, you got the burger one. Hey, Ali. Um, you say you're dead, girl. You dead. I'm also, um, besides being a planner babe and a plant mom, have y'all ever seen these? Look how cute. Look, I'm, look, again, if y'all have ever been on my lives, I'm always all over the place. So these are air plants. She has this one tucked in here, but this is the air plant. You don't have to plant it in anything. All you have to do is spray it um, with the mister every week. I love my air plants. Let me show you the other ones. And at first, I was kind of like, ugh. But once I went to the plant store and got these, I mean, look how cute these are. These are nice little decorative plants. They're living plants, and they also start to bloom. Um my tray is a little bit dirty, but I have these four and I just miss them every week. Um, they like to be misted with um, rainwater or if you have a dog, the water from your dog's bowl. That's what the plant shop said is because because they're not in soil, they need uh, water that has like a lot of enzymes and bacteria and things like that. Um, I'm frozen. Oh, hold on. Yeah, this battery is about to die too. Hopefully, let me see. Sorry. So what I was saying, I didn't know. I don't know how far I cut off. So these do not have any. Um, because they're not planted in soil, they recommend that you use rainwater, and preferably water from your dog bowl because it's enzymes and stuff that they need that's in those bowls but these are cute you know especially like if you like to do like prop pictures if you like one of them prop planner babes you can kind of um you know put them on your in your videos make a little cute little see so we'll do a little quick cute little setup so if I wanted to take a picture I got all my little stuff right here ready to go <laughs> so yeah so if any of y'all trying to figure out how we do our flat lays get good lighting good backdrop 
add some little elements to kind of create the whole vibe. I mean, you can even, you know, put a little lotion bottle right there, you know. Look, I'm setting up, making a whole vibe, right? So that's how we do our flat lays. Hopefully, I won't lose y'all because my charger will not fit over there. But yeah, so that's how we do our flat lay pictures. You just figure out what looks the best, look over top of your camera, and that's how we do them. So that's about it. Oh, no. Well, Prandity left, but I do want to share something. So, you know, like I was trying to say before I got distracted by my plant babies, um, I'm a planner babe, I'm a plant mom, and I'm also a lover of all things wine. Yes. <laughs> so I'm in this um, wine club called um, How Much Do You Pay For the Subscription? So for the pins and the box, I want to say it's like $50. But you just go to, she has like a, when you go to her page, it's a separate page for the um, subscriptions. Look, look, trust me, I be knowing the struggle. <laughs> but thank you for ordering. You're going to love them, I promise you, because I'm like this. If you buy a cover, let me put my charger on here because I don't want to lose y'all. So I might have to get a little bit closer down. Hold on. Um. Yeah, if you pick a plant, if you pick a cover that you know that will last you for a while, you really don't have to buy another cover, not unless you just, you know, like a new cover. So I wanted to share this with you all. So I'm a part of the Black Girls Wine Society, and no offense if anybody on here is not black, um, you can still join the society. But um, one of the things that Shala, um Shayla, you know, says with the Black Girl Wine Society, it's a group for us, by us, so we don't have to, um, you know, compromise who we are. A lot of times we get in groups and we have to tone down our blackness, um, but the group is open to anyone. Just know that when you come in there, the blackness ain't going to be toned down. <laughs> and they have um, chapters in about 33 states. If y'all are interested, I mean, this is no plug. I'm not an affiliate. I'm just a member. I just joined. But they do fun virtual events. They do fun, um, you know, chapter events. But I just wanted to kind of share this with you all. So we're going to be doing a sip and share on Halloween. And this particular um, box, if you go to this person's website, sipandsharewines.com, they ship wine out. So for our particular um, sip and share, we're doing a, um, it's going to be a collab with some other people. And so you get this box and you have all the wines here that we're going to be sipping. You get, I love a good Riesling. So you get Riesling, you get a sweet white, a Zinfandel, a sweet red, a red blend, an old vine, Zinfandel, and a Chardonnay. And again, if y'all are interested in this as well, for all of my wine lovers, I'm just sharing. Sharing is caring. So let's see. And this is the first time I'm actually looking at the box. So you have this again. And so it's like little small bottles. Oh, and they're plastic too. So this is the Seven Words Wine Collection. These are so cute. So, yeah, so just thought I'd share this while I was on here. So, if anybody is interested. Um, so, this was a, co a collab box. So, the price that I paid is not the price that's listed on here. But they said that you can join the Sip and Share Wine Club. You can choose your, share, your ship, and, ship and share wine option. You can do two bottles for 40, four for 79, six for 118, and you will get um, these little super cute bottles. So for anybody that's interested in that, there you go.
I want to turn the camera around, but the way I'm all set up in here is not going to work. Not unless y'all give me a second, because I do want to. Uh, I got all this stuff all over my floor. You guys. One o'clock where now? I just ran back to, oh, <laughs> hold on, let me see. I'm about to, let me see if I can flip my camera. Hey, y'all. <laughs> y'all can see all my clothes in the corner. Y'all see my plant babies. <laughs> all right, so I enjoy being live with you guys. I haven't been live in so long. I miss you all. How have everybody been doing? I look a little greasy right now. This is my all day look. I've been out and about when I got my nails did, like I said earlier. Um, but no, what I was saying, Hennessy, um, I'm a part of a wine group. If you are following me on IG, um, hey sis, thank you. Um, follow me on IG. I post a lot of life stuff. It was my planner page, but now I'm kind of converted into a Life of Chikisha. That's the name of my page. Also the name of my YouTube channel. And I've been on here for an hour. How y'all let me do that? Okay. Um, but yeah, so um I got all my little stuff all over the place. Um, but um if any of y'all are new to my channel or if you're old to the channel and you didn't know I am a shop owner, I do have script stickers. I also have some um exclusive Chiba doll stickers to the shop. Um, right now the shop is closed, so I'm trying to revamp some things, but if you're ever interested, I miss this, you have to do, I know, I miss it too, like, I was, like I, I said, I was telling Alicia, planning and praying, like, I've been finding myself, um, hey, Monica, hey, Monica, um, but yeah, um, I would say I miss this. Like, I feel like I've allowed myself to get so busy in all these little pockets that I miss it out on the things that's been truly giving me joy. And one of the things, I think I got a hole in my shirt. Y'all see that? One of the things that gave me so much joy was coming on, doing lives with you all on Sunday. And I really want to get back to that. I'm not going to commit to a time or a day yet. Um, but I'm definitely going to commit to that again. I mean, I'm definitely going to do it again. I just need to just adjust. You know, one thing about 2021 is that, um, no, the one thing about 2020, a lot of people saw only the bad in what the pandemic made us do. And what what I mean by, yes, it sucks that we lost lives, we're still losing lives, um, but it made us take a seat. God has been asking for us to have several seats. He's been doing things, showing us things, like y'all need to sit down and, you know, some of the terms that are being thrown on there, you need to sit down and pivot, you need to sit down and shift, you need to sit down and regroup. Like, he was like, I'm tired of my people failing. So he was like, sit down. Hey, marvelous. Um, some of my old heads are coming to it. Old heads is nothing disrespect, but that's just what I do. You know what I'm saying? That's my, you know, oh, I see all my old heads coming in his joy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah, it gave us a chance to see ourselves, see other people. Cause trust and believe when you moving and grooving, you don't see things clearly you know the one thing about going into 2020 you know everybody was like 2020 perfect vision 2020 perfect vision yeah but in order to have your vision perfected you got to sit down and get you know a checkup a dialysis not dialysis you got to sit down and have somebody evaluate your sight and shift your focus if you ain't seeing in 2020. And that's what God had to do. He was like, look, 
Y'all walking in 2020 talking about perfect vision, perfect vision. Y'all won't see any perfect vision in 2019. So what makes you think 2020 you could see any perfectly? So, you know, yeah, our vision was super blurry. So he had to sit us down, allow us to get in the examining chair like you do in the eye doctor. Come on, follow me, follow me. Just follow me for a second. So when you go to the eye doctor, you tell them I'm here because my vision is blurry or I can't see far away or I can't see close up or this eye is like light get in the eye and I can't see like help me get perfect vision. So they put you down, do the puff in your eye maybe, do the which one you see better, give you a prescription. Now what you do with your prescription after you leave is up to you. You either fill it so you can correct the blurriness or you don't fulfill it and you keep seeing the same way you were seeing before you even came to the doctor. So what you want to do, you want to keep looking through dirty glasses or not even correcting your vision, or you want to take the prescription that was given to you so you could see better. That's all 2020 was. 2020 happened, all of this chaos between systemic racism, through pandemics, through leadership, going ham, eggs, and bacon. You know what I'm saying? Like, we went through all of that. Hold on. All my little devices is dying on me. Hold on, y'all. Stay with me. Stay with me. Because I feel like I got to stay here. Hold on. I'm shaking the table again. But, yeah, so, you know, he so he gave us a prescription. He told us what we needed to do. He said, in order to see better, in order to see things near and far, far and wide, I need you to read your word. I need you to release yourself from people and things that are blocking your path to see straight. Because the thing of it is, sometimes we can't see because we're allowing these things to block us. We got this and this and this. He was like, read your word. Move these roadblocks out of your way. Change how you start seeing yourself. Hey, Ebony! I missed your comment. I'm trying to get my iPad back on. But, um, yeah, so 2020, if you're still looking at 2020 as a disaster and you're still talking about, I'll throw 2020 away, then you missed everything. Then your vision is blurry. You did not take the opportunity to get 2020 vision in 2020, you know. Because one thing, oh, thank you. God just told me this. You want to seek better vision. And the only way you can get better vision is to go to the doctor so they can help you. Because getting readers is just going to help you read. But getting a prescription is going to help you read, help you see, help you navigate, help you drive at night without that stigmatism. That's the same thing with our life. We want this 2020 vision. We're sitting here talking about we need to pivot, we need to shift. But if you pivot and shift and your vision is still blurry, you ain't going to see the new direction any better. So still seek a perfected vision because we'll never be perfect. Seek a perfected vision. So when you do pivot to where God wants you to go, he will be able to see clearly. You know what I'm saying? When he say shift, you're able to see from your peripheral the stuff right here. That's trying to keep you from shifting. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. Like, you got to take that thing in perspective. And you can't put it in perspective if you don't sit in the examining chair and examine your vision. Oh, my gosh. Like, that just hit me. Because that's what I'm going, like, there are areas in my life that are being examined from my relationships. And when I say relationships, friendships, 
business relationships, financial relationships, even my relationship with God. Like, how have I strayed away? You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying all this to say to you guys, don't say throw 2020 away. Because 2020, thanks, Pastor. Look, y'all put some claps up. My girl, Ro, is about to get her installation. I wish I could be there. I'm so super like, anytime somebody just, mm, I can't even, I can't, I can't even, I'm just, I'm so, I'm so happy and proud of you, Ro. And that's um, Rosina Middleton on here. I keep saying row, but um, yeah. So um, yeah. Just to grow during this season is amazing, and one of those things is um, yeah. Some of us had to have several seats and seek ye first, like for real. For y'all, that's just coming on. This dashboard from cloth and paper it says always won't open doors they won't so if you got if you see a thing through old lenses like I had a pair of glasses that <laughs> have they, they still got a little prescription in there but they were like from gosh I'm gonna say seven years ago and I was still trying to see life through those glasses and wonder why I was like this. Or like this. Because I did not take the opportunity to have a seat in the chair and get examined so I can get those fixed. So I would complain. I can't see at night. I can't, you know, I'm fussing at my husband. I can't drive at night because I can't see. If you go get your eyes checked, and get new prescriptions, you can see. So the same thing. Even though we're still in 2020, you can still see better if you get rid of the 2019 mentality. You can see. <laughs> yes, I'm going to keep you in prayer, girl. You got this. You got this. Um, And I'm going to end my live like I always end my live. So if anybody on here needs prayer, drop your prayers in the comments. I'm going to once it says 74, I'm going to go ahead and close on a prayer. Um, but don't, don't throw 2020 away. The word of God says that, you know, there is life and death. And even though a lot of people um, are like, oh, I don't want to die. Death is the most beautiful thing, especially if you are a believer, because you know where you're going to be. If you are saved and Jesus and you have confessed that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior and you know that Jesus lived, died, and resurrected for your sins, you going to heaven. You know what I'm saying? So when we lose loved ones, unfortunate to this pandemic or anything else, the first thing you should be like, I'm, I'm going to miss them, but I'm glad they were saved. You know, you never want somebody that's close to you to die. You know that they don't have no salvation. So that's why it is important for us to, at all times, when we are interacting with people and God open that opportunity for you to ask, well, are you saved? Do you believe Jesus is your Lord and Savior? And if they say, no, I don't know. Be like, well, look, repeat after me. I believe that Jesus lived, died, and resurrected for my sin. I believe that I am covered by the blood. If you agree, say amen, you saved. But you got to believe it in your heart, first of all. Because anybody can say anything. But if you believe it, it will happen. And you can still live a real life. Like, just because you're a Christian don't mean that you got to be all, you know what I'm saying? But as you grow on your walk, you start to respect and see things differently. Because God starts reevaluating your vision and he be giving you, you know, little drops, daily. Make sure you see them right. You start to make the changes. Change is necessary to grow. If you don't change, you don't grow. And the one thing about this season I'm in with these plants, they are solidifying. And I done went over the one minute, but um, yes, I got you, Miss Elaine. The one thing, if you, I recommend you get a plant. Whether you kill it or it thrives, 
and get into a relationship with that plant because that plant is going to show you some things. I have this one plant that I died to have and it's been giving me issues, this one stem. And as ugly as that stem is, I done cut it because it won't grow right. God keep reproducing something new. And then it still don't work right and I cut it and then God, each time he's produced it a little bit better. The leaf was, when it when the leaf finally opened up, it was defected, deformed looking. So I cut the whole stem off. Because I'm like, well, ain't nothing else going to grow from this. So then a leaf started growing out the stump. I ain't never seen a leaf grow out of stump. Normally you got to get the stem, then the leaf. Then the stem, I mean, then the leaf was looking defective, so I cut the leaf off. Now I got a whole stem growing out that stump. Now, I don't know what's going to come from that stump, that stump, but I say that to say is that old things like that, they won't open new doors. And what they're saying is when you start seeing bad fruit in your life, when you start seeing that things don't look like God is telling you they're supposed to look like, cut it off and God will regrow it as long as it's planted on good soil. My plants got good soil. So that's why I keep reproducing because God is trying to show me that even though you on good soil, things may not immediately look how you think they're going to look, but you're going to see growth. Growth is still coming out. It may not look right now how I want it to look, but each stage that growth gets better and better and better. So I want y'all to know that even though your stump may look ugly right now, just keep letting God prune it. Because each step of the way is going to look better and better and better. And as long as you believe that, yes, it's time for a weed eater or shears, whatever you're using. Let God be your vine dresser. Let him get off of the bad fruit. Like all of that. So anyway, I see some people have put in here, you know, that they would want to, you know, prayer and things like that. And I'm going to go ahead and close because this has been amazing and I want to relish in this time that I've spent with you guys um, and just know that um, there's a difference between relationship and religion. Religion has, religion keeps you bound and restricted. Religion makes you feel like you can't live this abundant and blessed life. Religion makes you feel like if you take a sip, you are a sinner. Religion makes you think if you, you know, slip up and have sex, that you're going to hell. We're not perfect. God just wants to perfect us, make us better. There was only one perfect man, and that was Jesus. You know what I'm saying? So just know that. Religion keeps you bound. Relationship helps you grow because relationship will teach you that God's word says, don't do this, but see when it's a, but in God, it's always good. Ain't a, well, you know, you're doing good on the job, but we got to let you go. No, God gonna say, you're not doing good on the job, but I'm going to bless you with a better job. You know what I'm saying? Those are the, that's the difference between Religion, religion be like, oh, you have sin, so you're going to hell. Relationship, you have sin, but if you ask me to forgive you, I will forgive you. That's the difference. So get into relationship. I know it's hard to get into a physical church with all these online churches. If you if you don't have a church that you are going to virtually, bedside Baptist is the best thing happening right now. You know how we used to be like, oh, I ain't going to church. I'm bedside Baptist. We all bedside Baptists. So, <laughs> find you an amazing Bible-based virtual church that you can attend. And the thing of it is, you can attend it Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you can watch the replay. You can watch it live. There's no reason why we should not be getting something inside of us, even if it's just connecting with uh, Mary and Martha plans. Myself and Alicia, we have a scripture writing and reading plan. Even if you connect with that, I mean, you got Monica on here that be giving that ram word every day. Good morning, Saints. Check her out. 
put your you put your Facebook. I mean your Instagram in here, Monica. You got Pastor Ro up in the house. Ah! She's about to be dropping that word on y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like there's so many of us in here. You got Diamond and Pearl that gives you that fun, faith filled laugh. Like, who says you gotta be uptight to be a Christian? You can laugh. You can be silly. Look at me. I'm tatted up and everything. That don't make me no less of a Christian. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't let religion make you think that you have to have this such an up, upright. Don't let them fool you. Don't do it. But anyway, I've overstayed my welcome. <laughs> yes, for his glory. Y'all follow her. I'm telling you. So, Monica, you know I love you and I'm going to pick with you. So when you follow her and you catch her on your feed, turn the volume down just a little bit. Cause she gives she be like, good morning, saints. I love it because it wake you up. And as soon as she says, she be giving you that, that good, good, <laughs> that good motivation. Some of us got to be yelled at. Got to wake you up. Because if I talk to you like this, you might not hear me. Sometimes you got to be loud about it. I be yeah, um, laughing at my husband because he be so loud. I said, why are you so hype? But his hypeness make you want to be like, ooh, yeah, yeah. Like my husband, he's a minister. He's a pastor. Like, So I, I get the word whenever. We be driving to work and he be like preaching to me. I be like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah. And I mean, I love it. But anyway, you guys, I am out. You say yes, you do. <laughs> All right, so I'm out. So I see the prayers that were dropped in here, and I'm going to go ahead and end this in prayer because I feel so full. <sighs> Father God, I honor you and I thank you. Thank you for just allowing me to listen to the Spirit and jump on this live on this unexpected day. Lord God, thank you for allowing me to connect with familiar and unfamiliar people. Thank you for allowing me to just have the opportunity just to show your light through me, Lord God. Father God, for all of those that have mentioned that they need prayer for their families, for their loved ones, for their next level of ministry, Lord God, I ask that you hear their heart, Lord. I ask that you give them everything that they need to push through, Lord God. Lord, when you feel the need to just show your presence, just show it to them unexpectedly so they know that you are who you are. When we feel like we want to go up, give up, let that be a side to us to press on because we know that there is something on the other side. Because one thing about it is the enemy and his minions will try to use other people to distract us. And if he can't distract us, he will try to discourage us. So, Lord God, I just ask you right now in the name of Jesus to take away the spirit of disappointment, the spirit of fear of man, the spirit of uncertainty. Because if we don't try, we will never know what we are capable of. So, Lord God, right now, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you. Thank you for this time, Lord God. I pray that everyone under the sound of my voice, that their hearts and their minds are softened to receive your will for their lives, Lord God. I pray that they'll allow you to lead them. I pray that they allow you to sit them in the chair and do that vision check to remind them that, all things that are good and perfect comes from him who is our Lord and Savior. It is in Jesus' mighty name. I pray that everyone has an amazing week, that it's the best week. I pray that all your needs are met. I pray that no hurt, harm, or danger will come upon you or your family, your finances, your businesses, your ministries, Lord. I pray that over each and every person under the sound of my voice. No weapon formed against us will prosper. Old things will pass away. We are operating in a new corrected site. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys. So I love you all. I am out. This will not be my last time. This just solidified some things that I've been praying to God for and about. And again... If I came on in the midst of somebody else's time, I do apologize, but I follow the Holy Spirit. Um, it's okay, Don. I'm going to keep it up. But um, if I 
jumped in on anybody else's YouTube time. I apologize. The flesh does, but my spirit has to do what the spirit tells me to do. And he told me to come on and I'm glad I did. So um, if y'all would like to see more of this, you know, make sure you um, subscribe to the channel um, and please like this video. I know, I know, I'm still working on it, sis. I mean, I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, plan a hurt, get to you sometimes, but that's a whole nother story, okay? <laughs> I ain't trying to let nobody come for me, okay? But yeah, so, um, yeah, so subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell because anytime I come on live, you'll get a notification. Anytime I post a video, you'll get a notification. You did what? Yeah, I did. I did, bro. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm I'm working on that. You know, for years I've been a people pleaser, so it's so easy to still um fall into that trying to like not offend nobody mode. You know, I'm still a work in progress. I'm not perfect. But yeah, so thank you all for tuning in and I will be back. I might even leave a poll to see what time and day y'all would like me to do this again because I really enjoyed this. I really did. This is bringing me back to YouTube peace because sometimes film would be like a pain in my thumbnail. <laughs> um, anybody as a YouTuber know what a thumbnail is. But anyway, I'm out. I love you all. Till next time, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and check out for my poll. I'm going to do a poll on here and I may do one on my IG. Life with Shakisha. All right, you guys. Peace.